Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Station Ears. And what is this? There's a new version. And I don't really know what's been added other than, well, we can see a cool new Stationpedia. Oars. Not cold. Oh. Look at this. Fabricators. Auto lathe. Tier 1, Tier 2. Manufacture. Nice! Good work, lads. That is that is a cool bit of kit that they've added there. I wonder what else they've added. Like I, I just uh, noticed this on boots, so I'm I'm not really paying attention to Ooh. ooh, ooh. <laughs> um there was like a Halloween version of the theme song at the menu, actually. <laughs> so we got some Halloween theme going on. That's pretty cute. Ah, uh, that's alright. I like that. Which is interesting, because, like, uh... Ro the, these guys, Rocketworks, are uh, ultimately a, um... New Zealand... New Zealand-based bloody... company. And to be honest, we don't do Halloween in Australia and New Zealand. Not really. Anyone... anyone doing it, like, trick-or-treat or whatever, it's like, it's just weird. It's strange. Anyway, nothing against the holiday, it's just very much not Australian. And I would say by extension, not New Zealand either, because they're just South South Australia. Anyway, so, we've done quite a bit here with our technique. Uh, got everything sort of plugged in, we just need to build it in. Again, thanks to all the support, everyone sort of... I kind of like that, like, even though we have people... And I don't, don't get me wrong, I like hearing guys say, yeah, cool, thumbs up, um, here's what I think. The, uh, everyone else ultimately, well, everyone ultimately just says, do whatever the fuck you want, <laughs> and we've got you back, we enjoy you doing weird experiments. So yeah, I think the consensus is that this room isn't necessary, might be necessary on another planet perhaps, but it's nothing if not interesting to watch it get built. Now. Uh, I did raise that the propellant issue is going to be a problem soon. So, it just occurs to me, we've got 1600 kPa in our propellant. Um, so I want to fix that. Which might take a whole episode, to be perfectly honest. Because as it stands... We have... A system with all sorts of mixed gases. Which we really should bleed the, O2, uh, the H2 out. And I know we're going to have a better gas system eventually, but we need this dealt with kind of now. And if you have a look here... How much X is that? You know what we potentially could do here, actually? I have an idea. As long as that machine's off... Can I squeeze in here? I don't like having a bloody jetpack around here, but it's not flammable so much as it is pressurized. Alright, so that's a pollutant filter. We're going to take that filter out and just plonk that there. It won't fall through the cracks, I don't think. Okay. Um, so if I bleed that filter line, it should be hard locked. So as to say, I can bring it down to zero. And we could do that by taking this canister. Look at that, my potatoes, they've been sitting there for days and days, right? And they're still healthy as anything, this system's working really well. Oh, I'm so proud of what we made together, team. So if I go and have a look here, 200 kPa, yeah. I mean, it's not like I have a back pressure regulator to drain it out, which would be cool to have. So what we're just going to do is, we're going to take that tank, and we're going to pop that there. Oh, you know what? This won't actually work because we would need a back pressure regulator. Hmm. Hmm. We need a, If we have a regulator at some place... Anywhere. We could put it here actually pretty safely, I think. Um, I just got to figure out... I don't really want to lose my gases if I can help it. Alright, let's just plonk this here. I'm trying to clear this pipe essentially without destroying or venting the gas. If I can if I can help it, right? So 
We should be able to pull that up. No harm, no foul. And we could do that. Do we have any spare pipe anywhere? I think, did we go through, or do I have some in my backpack? No, I don't. I think we went through all our pipe. Oh no. Um, but I also want a back pressure regulator. So we're going to build that here. Is, oh, hang on. Let me think about that. It is, yes, it is a back pressure that I want. It doesn't matter. I think, I think there are different versions of the, if I type reg you later. Iron, gold, and copper. Gold. Steel. Copper. We're nearly there. I think we need more iron, yeah? Um, put that in the backpack. Um... Six. All right, no copper. Uh, iron. So, and I think that was actually something that bottlenecked us last time that we need to go get some iron. Let's just have a quick eyeball over here because I could have sworn I saw someone I was looking at all that Halloween shit. Here we go. I got a full stack out of that. Yeah, so at this rate, we're going to run out of backpack pressure. Sorry, in case I haven't made that clear, you can see on my backpack, I'll mouse over it now. I've got the our old mouse. 1600 kPa over here. It's ticking down significantly. So we need to replace that, basically. I'd rather not use pollutant because we're using that as a coolant. Like it has, that gas has a value. Um,. So we'll probably use one of the other gases. Um, you know what? Let's just cook the whole lot. Off it goes. And if we pull out our handy dandy bloody laptop, a little iPad. So X is the pollutant which we want to use, 56%. CO2, O2, N2, I'm reluctant to use N2, right? Because that, when it comes to, um, how do you say, when it comes to actually sort of making a room with an atmosphere, we're probably going to put into, into it, right? Uh, because CO2 will poison us. You can't have too much O2 because that just makes it flammable and dangerous. You can't have X. So N2 has a value as a filler, ultimately. So we want to hold on to that too. So I think it kind of makes sense to me. I mean, hang on. We've got a killer mole of X. Maybe we just use X as our backpack thing. Maybe. I'm not sure. Pollutant for our propellant. Here's a thought. What if I... um. Can I just pull it out and... No. It's full of nitrogen. Nitrogen. I mean, they're all inert. There's no reason why I can't mix it all in. Yeah. Hmm. I don't think it really matters. We've we worked it all out as far as explosion and reaction anyway. Um, so I, I guess CO2. There's no reason why I can't use compressed CO2 for my jetpack in this game's world. Like it's it's not a, it's not like an explosive reaction jetpack. It's just compressed air, as far as I understand. I will find out. I might blow myself up. Oh well. Uh, what is it? Your pressure regulator. Okay, cool. Oh, fuck, we're going to have to rig it in for power, aren't we? 
Bugger. Um, back pressure. Oh, hang on. Yeah, okay, okay. So it's got to go... That's the way of flow, which makes sense. Yeah, that's what I want. Oh yeah. Um, we'll deal with that now. Cool. Okay. Um, let's swap that. And we've only got one cable. Right, so copper. Cable. Did we rig everything in downstairs in the uh, in the compartment? I think we did actually. We'll just cook up ten of this and see how that goes for us. Eight. Nine. Ten. Yeah, that'll give it power. So that should be pretty straightforward. So now we can keep our precious pollutant. Put that there. What's going on? Yeah, I like to keep the crowbar there. That's why I was getting confused. Okay. I'll pop that there. Set this to zero. Turn it on. Oh, I must have put that in my backpack on. Whoops, my bad. Well, that should be done anyway, but we need to go change the battery on the iPad. Um. There we go. Pipe's clear. I mean, we're still going to have that little elbow of pipe. How did I not even think of that, you silly sausage? What if... Well, if I back pressured that way, that wouldn't help either. And I don't think you can actually connect them hard up against each other. We've tried that sort of thing before. Um, I gotta think for a second. Bugger. What do we do here? I don't really want to make it any more complicated than it bloody has to be, you know? Um... All right, it's becoming pretty complicated pretty fast. Uh, we might just have to accept the waste. Oh, what's what's in there? One KPA. I guess that's not the end of the world. In that small unit. Well, wait, 65 mole. Oh. There's not that much pressure in it anyway, that's fine. Um, that's right, we'll just have it pollute, we'll lose that amount, it's fine. Hunger. We'll let it be polluted, I suppose. If 
Funnily enough, I'm going to need a CO2 filter, but not for me. Oh, great. And I'm going to... Actually, you know what? I'm just going to use my one. Fuck it. Because... Otherwise, I'll leave them on the ground and I'll get confused. Um... Oh, where's the switch? Um... Now, what's in this? I think I've used this for O2 transfer, is that right? Yeah, you know what? I don't want to mess with that tank, actually. Because we're going to actually need it in not that long to transfer out. And I probably want a spare tank. We can't use that. Alright, I might actually build another tank. Let's not mess around here. And put this in here. Have a feed. Oh, so much busy work. All right. Okay. Uh, make a new canister or five iron. You know how I love the old redundancy. Because then we'll pop that in there. Now it's going to have some pollutant in it, but not much we can do about that. That's going to be turned on. I'm going to have this as a precaution to watch what's going on pressure-wise. Canister. Three megapascals. What blow what blows a canister up? Dunno. But three MPA is a lot better than what we've got currently. So that'll do. I probably came really close to blowing myself to fucking smithereens, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Should be right. Alright, so that's done. Um, now, I know this is pure nitrogen, but it probably couldn't hurt to try and get more out of that pipe, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, that's good. So there we go. That's our, that's our sort of issue dealt with there. I guess I could bleed it by constantly putting bloody canisters in there. Like, it won't, it won't, because it'll just normalize across the pressure. Oh, hang on. CO2... Oh, right, hang on. Because there was X already in it. The CO2 that I bled out and the N2 that was in there. Yeah, that's why we've got such a dirty mixture. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, if someone can think of another way, like I said, it's not even that it's an elbow. You can't build that hard up against that. We've tried before. The game cracked the sads when we did something like that. Um, like on the back of here, I think is what we did. So I don't know what the best way to do that is. I think we just accept that waste, you know? I don't want to cheat, but you could probably just use a wrench to tear that pipe out and that will delete all the gas. Um, but you could just as easily connect it onto like a vent or something like that. So we could vent it at least. So that's something. Um, yeah, okay. That's a tough one, but remember, this is all just a bit of an ad hoc job there, anyway. Um, I'll take my filter back. Thank you very much. And we're good for propellant for a little while, we've got a backup canister in case. So that's good. Um, 
I'm sure that we could have done bigger pressures then, but I don't have the numbers in the top of my head, and they're not at a point of intuition. Like, 10 megapascals to 1,000, to me, makes no difference at the moment because I haven't really worked closely with pressure limits in this game. Um, but anyway, so that's dealt with. So let's see where we were at here. We rigged everything in. We need to construct the other furnace, right? But otherwise, all the power lines are plugged in as far as I can recall. I mean, they get a, they got to get turned on, right? Power and data, I guess. And we've run it up to here through the airlock. Okay, so at this point, what we need to do is uh, build the furnace... Uh, and we have to um, build the airlock, seal the walls in, I guess, but we have to start thinking about how we're going to do the logic. Someone said that in the IC chip thing, there is like a... There's a sort of step, like a time step component, which excites me a bit, like a tick, because um, the consensus seems to be that we need some sort of reset, refire mechanic, some tick mechanic, and that might be the go. Um, we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do with here. This is going to be all of the excess solid ore that comes down into there. I guess we could put that in a silo. I think that's how it sort of works. So we have to think about that. So there's some infrastructure to build. And then we've got the pipes coming down here that, that don't strictly need to... Like, they can exit the room. That's why it's going down that way. Um, but yeah, we're going to have... Uh, Hydrogen gas come out and everything else gas come out And then we'll have to put that into a facility of some sort as well basically But those pipes could run over land for all that matters even even in this having um, The hydrogen pipe in the Sun. It'll still cool overnight So that's fine um, And I'm not that worried about like a heat transfer boundary problem because they're gonna pass through this solid rock a uh, solid wall. As far as I can understand, that insulates 100% the walls in this game. Um, you know, because a little bit of the uh, the heat from the sun going through a pipe, working its way back up and transferring into the furnace, it could find its way into the system and heat the ice enough to melt before it sorts. That's the big problem. But remember, we're going to super cool this room. Even if you did have a, a bit of heat coming in through the system like that, it's going to take a lot for it to go from whatever we're going to keep it at, like absolute zero or something disgusting. So, yeah, even if our system's not 100% and some heat finds its way in, it's going to, it's going to be super cooled. So don't worry about it. Cool. Not that anyone's worried about it except me. I'm, I'm probably going to have to do some homework on logic uh, myself and try and figure out what I'm going to do. It's all good and well for you to spray me with a wall of text, but it doesn't mean anything until I look into how the code works in this game. Or how the coding, programming, whatever. Uh, two iron sheets, which we don't have, and a welding torch. Our jetpack seems to be working alright though, on CO2. Or a dirty mix, I suppose. But we took the main components out. Um. All right, iron, iron sheets. Let's get two. Um. That's another thing. We uh, we need to maybe make oxyacetylene. Can I? No. Oh, you know what? I know what I can do. I can press R. Oh, look at that. Five and a half thousand KPA in a standard size gas canister. I don't think we're going to run out of it anytime soon. I haven't even been that frugal with it. But it'd be curious to see how much we go through when we weld all this up. But uh, I think if it's under that sort of pressure, we're probably laughing. All right, we're built. We're laughing. So, we'll put some uh, dangly bits. Basically like adapters, I suppose, might be one way of looking at it. Just to 
connect the ins and outs of the system. Uh, we're going to need more pipe. Input, output, okay. Perfect. Probably need, well, that, that was five just then, so we need another five pipe. Um, and the chute as well. Probably need another five chutes or something. Is everything else chuted in together? I think someone suggested that we might not have enough room here for when we make it unpack. Oh, I can't remember off the top of my head. It's... Yeah, that might be true. If that's the case, because everything's so compact, that could really throw a spanner in the works. I'm not 100% sure how it unpacks. That might be enough room. Because it'll challenge here. It'll basically be hydrogen or everything else. So it'll push through. Hmm. No, that's alright. Even if it had to wait for the hydrogen to get mashed, if you had a whole bunch of hydrogen that clogged the whole thing up, the system should still work if, as long as it just keeps running. It should still work. I mean, yeah, I can see where this could bottleneck us if you had a, a belt with eight things in it. But uh, we're making a lot of assumptions on how the belt decides to unpack itself. Because that's what this is, an unpacker, isn't it? That's an unpacker, that thing there. Yeah, and it's a simple shoot system with one thing, so presumably, however it unpacks, whether it sends the belt or whatever, or maybe it sends one thing at a time, that makes much more sense. Maybe other people can fill me in on this one. It makes more sense that it sends all the items one at a time, and then it sends the belt last. That, that seems physically sensible, but I could be wrong. No, no, I actually, yeah, I've convinced myself I don't think that's going to clog up. Or it shouldn't, at least can, now that we have discussed the concept. But if it does, I'd be curious to know why. Okay. Let's, uh... Lucky we cooked up all that bloody iron at the beginning. Um, shoot. At least four, maybe five of these. Two. Three. Alright, and then pipe. Probably want. Well, we'll make six because of the split use. Because it only spends half. Try not to waste it if we can help it. Five. Six. Let's plug all this in. Output. Yep. Alright, so that'll make them external to the system, so then we can connect them onto whatever. And do the exact same thing with this. Perfect. Nice. So we're getting there. Cool. Oh, all right. I guess we better finish up there. I'll have to brush up on my code. Um, feel free to, like I said, help me work out what we're going to try at least for the first pass of running code on this sort of system. 
um because we should be able to test run it in spurts the real the real interesting thing is we'll have to get our cooling system up and running uh or i guess we could test it at night with trace amounts of certain resources do you know what i mean so there is a chance to make this thing work before we seal it in actually um so we could send like a belt with one hydrogen in one slot and you know, you know that sort of thing so um we'll do some test runs but yeah feel free to submit your logic uh concepts your scripts i suppose and and i'll have a look at them and and I'll start trying to figure it out and I'll try and explain it back to people as well as I learn. So it should be interesting because I'm sure there's a lot of you that have no idea about the scripting in this. I've done my share of like MATLAB and engineering programming. A lot of people don't realize that if you want to be like say a mechanical engineer or whatever, you still have to do a fuckload of coding. Like I might as well have just been a software engineer in the end. I, I joke, but but still. So I've, I know my share in my corner as well, but I'm not going to pretend that I'm some super duper life programmer either having said that it's almost like learning you know latin adjacent languages i suppose there are commonalities in a lot of sort of the the sort of machine codes and that that you use so we'll see we'll see how similar this is to matlab which is the one that i'm really familiar with but cross i did i did like c i think i did c that's how long ago it was not c plus or any of that sort of shit i did c when i was in uni straight out of school Back when I did science, but that was so long ago. First time I went to you. Anyway, team, thanks again for joining me. Might just leave it there for the time being, and I will catch you guys on the next one.